Hey, I'm Dan Persons. You want to know what's going on in genre? Here's what's going on in genre. Arnold's back and Terminator's got him. Uh, Deadline is reporting that Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, was going around last week talking up Terminator 5. Yes, this will be the fifth installment in the Terminator franchise. According to Arnold, the, uh, the film is due to start shooting in January. He will be in it, although he didn't say to what capacity. Um, however, he is somewhere around 65 years old now, so uh, they would have to explain that in some way. Possible title, Terminator, Social Security. I don't think they're going to do that. Megan Ellison is producing this. She had picked up the uh, the property in 2011. Uh, she is joining forces with her brother, David Ellison, on this. So it's a family thing. That's nice. And also Paramount is going to be pitching in. Um, for writers, they brought in Leda Caligridis of Avatar and Patrick Lussier of My Bloody Valentine. Uh, Justin Lin was scheduled to direct. He dropped out, so they're looking for another director now. I think McG is available. Universal has released a whole boatload of images from Despicable Me 2. This is the follow-up, of course, to Despicable Me about the supervillain Gru and his life with two adorable Moppets, and they really are adorable. Um, in this particular film, he's recruited by the Anti-Villain League to fight an even more supervillainous supervillain um this is a new character here agent lucy of the anti-villain league uh and judging from this image she's rather intense she's voiced by Kristen wig then there's this upsetting image this is Gru dressed up uh for agnes's birthday party um judging by the fact that there's a birthday party in this and if you've seen the trailer you've seen that there's an exchange between Gru and the older girl about texting boys and i'm going to go out on a limb and say that one of the themes of this particular film is growing up and maturing and maybe there will be some uh maturing for the supervillains as well who knows but you don't want to hear about that i know what you want to hear about and yes there will be minions lots of minions oodles of minions minions in a car minions on a bar Minions in a line. Minions doing fine. Minions, 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 minions. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Um, and then there's this guy, Eduardo, uh, voiced by Benjamin Bratt, and described in the publicity materials as the most macho supervillain who ever villained. And how, ma how macho is he? He's riding into battle on a shark equipped with missiles. Missile shark versus laser shark. Which would you bet on? Um, so you've got uh, you've got that coming up. And then Oak Ivy has announced their work on a new supernatural thriller, Mary Loss of Soul. This is about a teenage girl who disappears from her family's lake house and then returns mysteriously, bringing with her. Something terrifying. His name is Evan. He's 20 years old. He works at the car wash and he has big plans to become a champion on the Minecraft World Tournament League. No, not really. It turns out that she's missing part of her soul. Mary is. And she's also haunted by a malevolent force. And it's up to her parents to find that part of her soul before time runs out. Have they checked under the bed? Um, Jose Zuniga of the Twilight Saga is in this, and also with him is Kaylee Bryant of Dog with a Blog. I guess that's a thing that exists. And Nick Mancuso of Under Siege is in there as well. This is the directing debut of Jennifer B. White, who's a writer uh, specializing in supernatural stuff, so this is in her bailiwick. And she also comes from film marketing, so um, she's advancing her career. Good for you, Jennifer. Um, this is in post-production now, no distributor yet. And that's it for now. Check out more stuff over at cfqonline.com. We'll have some of the uh, images from Despicable Me 2 up there as well.